Dominique Samuels appeared alongside former Sun Royal editor Duncan Larcom on Good Morning Britain as the pair debated the future of the royal family after the Queen's health is called into question. Miss Samuels said Prince Charles could never replace the Queen and claimed the public did not like him as much. But after being challenged for her statement, the political commentator erupted and said the Prince of Wales' climate change lecturing was pushing people away from him as they did not appreciate his position of privilege. The Queen was unable to attend Remembrance Sunday services following health concerns over the weekend. Buckingham Palace said the Queen was dealing with a back sprain and was forced to pull out of events at the last minute. It follows the Queen's absence from a Northern Ireland engagement in COP26 where she gave a virtual message instead. Debates continue to bubble over the future of the royal family with Ms Samuels concerned Prince Charles does not have what it takes to lead. Speaking on Good Morning Britain, Ms Samuels said, with regards to Prince Charles, I mean, he's never been really quite popular, has he? You know, it's William, it's the Queen, those are the people that the country loves. And, you know, in my personal opinion, and from a lot of the comments I've seen just generally, people don't really like Prince Charles. They feel as though if he stepped in, he would effectively destroy the monarchy, he's talking about politics, he's making big statements on climate change. I don't think that he is in tune with the British public as the Queen. Ms Samuels was then challenged by the panel who pointed out climate change issues could not be deemed too political as the royal family have long commented on environmental issues. But the political commentator doubled down and said, so COP26 when he said we need to go on a military-like footing, you know, to battle climate change whilst he flies around on his private jets lecturing the rest of us from his ivory tower. A lot of people didn't like that. I think with royalty, they need to know that there's a line and you nitpicking at what the average person does from your palace doesn't go down well. Prince Charles made a big impact at the COP26 summit as he schmoozed with world leaders and discussed climate change with them. U.S. President Joe Biden was captured on video fawning over Prince Charles and congratulating for what he started and saying he needed people like him badly. YouGov suggests the Queen remains the most popular royal with their latest poll putting her at the top of the leaderboard with 72% favorability. However, Prince Charles places sixth with 45% favorability and falls behind Philip, William, and Kate. Another news, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may return for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee next year in a bid to keep the brand alive, according to an expert. Royal expert Ian Lloyd claimed that he would be surprised if they failed to make an appearance. He added that their association with the Queen, as well as Harry's relationship with Princess Diana, is the only reason they have maintained this heightened level of fame. The royal photographer and biographer said, I would be surprised if they didn't appear next year for the Jubilee, and that's because their brand relies on the fact that they are associated with the royal family. As much as they appear to fight against it and go off in their own direction to do things, the only reason that they are getting the fame they have at the moment is because Harry is the grandson of Elizabeth II and his mother was Princess of Wales, Diana, who everybody in America adored. The association with the royal family is vital so I think they would probably want to come to be associated with them, just to keep their brand alive. Ever since the pair resigned from their royal duties and moved across the pond to LA, Meghan has not returned to the UK. Harry on the other hand has visited his family briefly on two occasions. Once for the funeral of Prince Philip in April and the unveiling of Princess Diana's statue in July.